Hey everybody, just a quick update on real estate and how it relates to this pandemic that we've been going through, the COVID-19 update. I'm sure if you're like me, you've been inundated with emails and, and texts and media from all over the place about what is happening. Um, you know, we're coming from a real estate standpoint. I wanted to bring in Josh Heap with Canopy Mortgage, who is our pretty much our in-house lender and I know has worked with, you know, a lot of my clients. And uh, I think, you know, some of the things people are asking is, first of all, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? And what are interest rates doing? So I wanted to bring you in to talk about that. What are interest rates doing right now? Hey guys, on um, interest rates right now, actually for the past couple of days have really been kind of calming down. I've been seeing the market react a little more normally than usual. I mean, as of today, we're quoting something in the mid threes for 30 year fixed loans with anywhere from five to 20 percent down. Are they at the bottom they were a few weeks ago? Not quite, but we're still historically speaking, mm -hmm. the best spot we've been in the last 12 years overall. Right. So do you anticipate, and I know you don't have a crystal ball and, and neither do I, but do you anticipate that we're going to see rates go down even more when we start to kind of get over, you know, the, the hump on this and start to see a light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, my gut feeling is we're going to be in a pretty good rate environment for the rest of the year after we kind of get out of this and get back to business as usual. I yeah. can see low threes again being here in a few months. Should that stop you from buying now and waiting until then? I mean, it's really your prerogative. We're still looking at something historically low. So I think it's important to speak with people like me and Shelly and say, what are my payments going to look like now in this particular house? Is this the right time now? And is it going to be affordable? And the other thing that you and I discuss all the time is there's a, there's a couple of things. First of all, you know, when is it really worth it to refinance? I mean, typically the rule of thumb is, you know, one full point, you know, if you're at 4%, if you can get down to 3%, well, then that's probably, you know, worth it to refi. Do you agree with that? I look at a lot of different factors. Uh, one main important part is how long they've been in their current loan. You know, for example, if you've had your 30 year fixed loan for eight years and you're only gonna be able to drop a half percent, it may not be worth it to you because you're gonna be recasting that loan along. Where it can really make a benefit if you've been in that loan for a year or two years, maybe, and you're able to drop a half percent with no cost, mm -hmm. we can really do the amortization schedule and say, this will save you X amount of thousands of dollars by doing so. Right. So it's really gonna be a case by case basis. I can always take phone calls like that and there's no obligation to do so and just really do the numbers. The math really will speak for itself. Sure, yeah, uh, agreed. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about, I made some notes here, so I'm gonna put on my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, people are asking me, is it a good time to buy, is it a good time to sell? Well, you know, I think what you just taught us is that interest rates are really darn good. No, they may not be at three right now, they may not be below two, but I mean, anything below, Five, Josh is historically low. It really is. When you the time to buy is really if, if you're a long term investor in a home, long term it's going to be worth it for you. It's mm -hmm. coming down for everybody. If you're looking to do a quick fix and flip, necessarily that might be a little dicier right now because you sure. don't know what the market's going to hold. But if sure. you're a typical buyer that we work with, they're buying their forever home for most, the most part. Right. I think it's still a good time to buy. Right. And, and the thing that you and I both know is that, you know, this, this is a, a pandemic. This, this recession is not being caused by bad decisions, bad right. lending, you know, people using their homes as, as ATMs. I'm, I was surprised to hear the stats on how many people actually have equity. I, I mean, I think it's almost up to like 65% in Phoenix that people have at least like $50,000 equity in their homes. That, Correct. More. If you have that much skin in the game, you know, you're going to figure out a way to keep your home. You don't want to lose exactly. that. Equity. It will come back. We might see that to drop some, right. but you put that money down as opposed to back in 2005 when you, it was zero money down. You could buy 10 properties. You had no skin in the game. So when stuff got bad, you let it go. Right. So and adjustable money. rates, mortgages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't really done an adjustable rate. I don't think in eight years. Right. <laughs> right. Which is good. Pretty much been pretty vanilla in my opinion <laughs> because you know yeah, you and i both okay. worked through that and uh mm -hmm. you know we saw the repercussions of it so uh, i it, we're not dealing with those issues at all and um i'm not nervous or afraid for people to buy or sell right now because you know inventory is still extremely extremely low supply is 54 percent below normal right now 
in Phoenix. Buyer demand is still 3.8% over normal. So we, it's still, there's still a huge gap in the market. It's still definitely um, a seller's market. So, and again, this is not a repeat of 2008. We've increased our housing supply though, which is interesting by 20% because of COVID-19. But even with that, we are still 32% below last year's inventory numbers. So once we get through this, I really think that we're going to snap back and we're going to see um, you know, the housing market getting right back to where it was even, even a month ago. You've got to have the confidence in the job market. You know, people are unemployed right now. So I'm just putting a pause on it. If that's, you know, we just don't know the exact end in sight, which is, I think right. it's sooner rather than later. And as soon as we get that confidence back, if it's 30 days, 60 days, they get their jobs back, they'll be more comfortable with this economy. Right. And the housing market will pick right back up. I agree with you 100%. All right. Well, as usual, if you have a question for me, if you have a question for Josh, you know, please send them over and we're happy to help. Take care, guys.